notes. Really appreciate you plopping those in there. Um, okay, so <clears throat> I actually have no idea what we're going to talk about because this is the after show and the after show is nonsense. So um, <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go pee. So <laughs> because I didn't go before and I should have when Rash left. So um, I know one thing I want to check out is if I sim because... Um, I don't know if you watched the or listened to the pod where I completely fucked up my tier token and got a chess piece that I actually had a Mythic Warforged Heimo one. And uh, so I need to sim myself and check to see if uh, if it's an upgrade with the two piece. So I'll yeah, be... no, I that's that that's fun. I yeah. uh, I I just wish that so. <laughs> The Druid four, tanking Druid four piece and two piece, they suck balls. Like, they are so bad. Um, I I I I get to be I get one piece of tier, this this uh, this raid or this this raid set. This is it's your the best, only one worth keeping. Your best in slot includes one piece of tier. <laughs> yeah, everything else wow. is off pieces. And the only reason why I've got that one piece of tier is because it's mastery multi strike. That's the shoulders. Right. Yeah, the warrior tier is pretty good. Most of it has crit, and the the bonuses are amazing. So yeah. Yeah. No, you. you lucky, lucky fucks. You and shaman. <laughs> Large. Do you have a uh, Do you have a YouTube channel, or do you just have it on on? No, Twitch? I don't have a YouTube channel. No, I I'm terrible when it comes to <laughs> to video editing. I, okay, I don't atrocious. edit my stuff. I just I just totally. I um, I start a new recording every poll, and then I just upload the good poll <laughs> okay. directly to YouTube because I don't like editing. <laughs> oh, I guess I guess Ruler is gone. Yeah, no, I think he actually bounced to the bathroom. Good night, Seth. Yeah, that's fine, Seth. And so how about that local sports team? Oh, wow. Um, I haven't watched a game in a while. <laughs> that would be hockey. Oh, you're a hockey guy, huh? If I am any guy, it's a hockey guy. That's fair. That's fair. I do occasionally like to watch a good game of hockey. Yeah, Vancouver. Vancouver Canucks. I, uh, I'm a Colorado Avalanche fan when I watch, so... Yeah, I don't mind Avalanche. It was it was really hard uh, to be so I went to I got my degree um, from the University of Michigan where everybody is a Red Wings fan. Yeah. Very very hard to be an Avalanche fan when everybody's a Red Wings fan. Oh, Red Wings are pretty sweet. I don't know. They're one of my favorite American teams. It it made it very easy to hide because the Red Wings didn't suck. But I yeah. could never actually share the fact that I was an Avalanche fan. <laughs> right. Yeah, Arculos plays uh, plays hockey. That's dedication. That's right there. Being in Alabama and playing hockey. The Arculos told me that he played hockey, and he was telling me all these stories, right? And I'm, I just assumed he was Canadian at that point. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> like talked to him for like two days, and then he, he dropped the bombshell that he's, that he's American. I'm like, oh, my God. Everything is a lie. I, I don't know how to... I don't have to interact with you anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And day. Oh, we talking about hockey a little bit. Making fun of Florida. I live in Kentucky. Nothing exists here. <laughs> that Kentucky. Yeah, Seattle team would be cool. Oh man, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I got a sim. Go to sim. Oh, we should check out. I wanted to check out the um. Uh, logs. Oh yeah, I did Ooh, hella, that'd be fun. hella Pull good. Pull those up, I want to see those. I want to see those. Oh, well, I, I could already... probably look at them myself, but that would like require work. And I, I, already have have... Them <laughs> I already have them so... open. Um, I'm just going to switch. I want to see how much damage I could have avoided. AKA like half the stuff I end up sand again. Oh, myself. Mr. Robot, yeah, I'll open that up. Mr. Robot is not updated. Oh, so or no. uploaded. Nobody. No one... Damn it, three C. Oh, he did. He did Warcraft logs, but not ask Mr. Robot. I normally do uh, Robot. Okay. 
The thing is, me and Cerisi do robot, but um, we kind of like trade and we don't tell each other if we're doing it or not. <laughs> so <laughs> it looks like neither of us did it tonight. And I didn't log at all, so I don't have the thing to upload. Oh, okay, that's fair. That's fair. And we can... Cerisi wasn't it. Cerisi wasn't in on the kill, so. Oh crap! So that was my job. Okay. Oh yep. yeah, that's right. Way he, to fail. He did. <laughs> he got the boot. That's you right. You had one job, Brash. <laughs> one job. Blade Storm. <laughs> Oh. I, did, I did it, I did it. Two I jobs, swear. Brash, two jobs. <laughs> yeah, I had to interrupt that stupid flame thing, too. Yeah, I did I did <laughs> that, see, too. Okay, so it's normally so when it comes to ads, um, with that you got to interrupt, I can do it by myself. Like, it's not normally a problem. Yeah. But you just chain cast it. It didn't matter what you did. She chain cast it for heal spell. Yeah, I interrupted, like, once or twice per... Per ad, um, per flame bender, whatever they're called. Yeah. So how about how about that uh, that damage and that healing from that silly druid? I'm just gonna one sec. <clears throat> I gotta alter this a little bit because I forgot that I have a webcam thing that exists. <laughs> I, I'm very happy with 87 percent, considering I have a 671 weapon. Well, that's the, my weapons. My and that's weapons damage. The of that. That's not even tank. Right. That's damage. My, my weapons at the bottom of that percentile. Yeah, oh, yeah, you rank good. I did surprisingly well in my bracket. You did really well. You did ninety percent overall. That's like one of your best. Yeah, this is my best, definitely in this raid so far in Black Rock. I would say this is your best AOE fight. Yeah, that's a good idea. What is what is this uh, this tanking thing? It's kind of no like idea. it's kind of like um wow I forgot that my screen and how did they determine how that works? Well yeah, it's some sort of like um experimental thing. Wow. It's not like wow. you know necessarily accurate in any way, but I'm not really even sure what it's supposed to represent, like damage taken or like damage mitigated maybe. Well, um, whatever it is, I did shitty at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't I, know. I, I bet it has to do with I, I rarely use my uh, dodge um uh, my my active mitigation for dodging. I tend to just heal the damage I take. I bet I bet that has to do with something up about it. I bet it's some like active mitigation uptime. Yeah, it could be. <clears throat> and of course Brash gets ninety five, ninety seven, what is? Stealth. Look at stealth. Ninety nine. Stealth at ninety nine in this oh. bracket. That's that's, that's really hot. good. That's hat. That's hat that's, bitches. That's hot. Yeah. <clears throat> well, oh, it doesn't even show me on the healing meter. What the fuck? Because <laughs> you ain't no heals. It doesn't that's... matter. I was number two on that fucking healing meter. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. They they linked um they linked the picture. That's this is um warrior advanced strats. Oh, 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 I gotta see this. <laughs> I fucking love this gif. This gif makes me so happy. <laughs> there's a, uh, there's a warrior guide and it has, like, the basics, and then, like, at the bottom it's, like, advanced strats, and it shows that gif. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's, it's so accurate. It's so true. That is not what I do while bladestorming. I click three, <laughs> I click three, I take my hand off the keyboard, and I take a drink, and then I go back to fighting. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shit, that's good. That's good. Well, I, uh, Archelos, that may be true, um, but you were below me on my meter, and it might have been a ranged thing. That ranged. That <clears throat> scatter damage For meter the range. The set was with me on the splits, so that might have influenced it some. Well, if this, I killed it tonight on healing. Well, this was posted by Regoth based on his meters, and he was with me. Joel. And right. So. That might influence things, too. Well, Sev, Sev crushed it tonight yes, on that pull. Yeah, Sev. Sev OP. He, he was way light years ahead of everybody else, at least on my meter. Well, even, like at, the, even, fair. even at the end here, she was 5k above Arculos, so... So... Yeah, I don't really OP. I don't really understand the healing rankings like all that much. Like I know when I heal I can do okay, but um It's, it's all know. about 
It's all about throughput, and I think you get punished for overhealing, unless you're a holy pally. Oh. I'm in the boat of, like, I don't give a shit about overhealing as long as we, you know, get the kill or whatever. Like, I'm right. on the monk, I had to overheal to heal, so I was like, I do 40% overhealing, I don't give a crap. Well, no. yeah, no, like, like they're, they're, it, it's just one of those, some healers, that's how they have to do it. Yeah, exactly. Um, Day did really well on Beast Lords, if you, uh, once, <laughs> once you see it's, it. Up. It's because Brash wasn't there. Oh, I know. Oh, no. I know. Oh. The, the first attempt, or we, uh, he did it, I, I don't, he was like, it, like, literally, it was him, this gigantic step down to, <laughs> to the next batch of people, and then even, like, my bar on the damage meter was, like, minuscule. <laughs> day, day, it doesn't count, it's tainted. I wasn't even there. <laughs> <laughs> that taint. Uh, you can't... Never mind. Actually, yeah, I don't know. That fight now, is definitely, like, the more AoE you have, the, the less the top end does. Right. Now, now this magical tanking rankings, I apparently did much better on uh, on Beast Lord than I did on uh, on the other. And I don't know if I did anything different. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if it has to do with, like, time tanking the boss. Like, they give you more points or whatever based on the time that you have the boss, right? Well, that may be true. That'd be weird, though. That'd be really weird, considering how much I... Oh, I bet I get penalized for getting my stack so high on mm. uh, on Operator. Getting <clears throat> five and six stacks is probably not a good thing, which is probably why it probably penalized me in some way. Yeah, there was... A, Brash, there was one pull where Wind Mask actually was higher than I was. Nice. I don't know how I how that happened. <laughs> Obviously, I did bad, and he did really good. So, uh, But, you know, like... I knew I knew when I said that Xano was a good player, but I think I underestimated him myself. I thought he was a good player, but he's actually an exceptional player. Oh man. Well and, I could tell based off the rankings, his bracket rankings were really good even when he had crap gear. Which mm -hmm. tells me that he's doing good for his you know, his brackets kind of obvious. Um yeah. But yeah, like I mean Yeah. I'm glad they added the bracket because that's new for for wad that wasn't there in miss and you know if you're like 10 item levels behind your ranking is just always crap <laughs> yeah exactly yeah I th our boomkins seem to be really low on that bracket percentage you know, I don't, boomkins, our boomkins are really good in in high mall yeah i don't know i don't <laughs> know what's going on that's weird yeah, they've been kind of low on rankings lately, and it's like, I'm not sure what changed. It's because David's going away for three weeks. Oh, no. I'm, I'm glad our, like, top end is getting is getting better. Um, like, Large, do you remember back when we did 10-man? Um, <laughs> like, I hated 10-man. Like, there was... were two of us. <laughs> two people. Uh, <laughs> but, like, some of the fights, I, I would be doing, like, 25% of the damage in, you know, in, in, in miss. And it's just like, and then I die, and then it's like, GG. Like, it's just, you wipe it. Um, it's just, no, I, it's, I remember well, that. Yeah, it's not, I don't enjoy that. Like, too many eggs in one basket kind of deal. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to have more people, you know, top top five. And, I, I uh, definitely like the fact that our, our damage is much more, it's it's more blocked. You know, okay. we might we might have a couple of people who are uh, above, the, above the top end, you know, our top end, but that second block of people is much bigger now. I would totally agree. Been. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Well, like like Ruler, he moved up from, you know, at the beginning, kind of middle of the pack, I'd say. Or like, you know, middle of the pack on average. And now he's, you know, top five. Yeah. And, like... and, and our top five, except for the ad fights, are much closer together. Yeah. That's what I noticed big time. Like on Grawl, like a single target fight, like I have to work my ass off to be even top three, um, at least outside of execute phase. And that wasn't the case not that long ago. Like our top 10 people are a lot better or a lot yeah. more evenly matched than they ever have been. Right. Yep. Like me, Ruler, Regoth, Day, even Trog on some pulls, um, Loki yeah. on some pulls, Davin, um, 
just to name a few. Like, all right up there. And kill. Pretty cool. Yep. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. It makes it, it makes it nice. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how I how far I've come in the short amount of time. And like I finally feel like I'm actually progressing whereas like there was a stalemate there when we were doing uh starting Black Rock and like even a little ways into a couple weeks into it where I felt like I wasn't progressing. I was like it felt almost like I was degressing. <clears throat> Whereas now I can actually see an improvement and yeah, I got a weapon, but even like a couple of attempts with that new weapon, I felt like I was just not doing that well. And this week, um, especially I've seen myself improve and I think that goes for, um, quite a few people as well. So, yeah. Like Trog, Trog, like, you know, he was kind of, oh, I got a sim kind of visible at, in, in high mall, um, on some fights, but now he, you know, he's top five on most on most fights. I think, I think that had to do with uh, a tweak. Apparently, Steering Insanity is now really good for AOE stuff. Like he actually has some AOE, which he didn't have going into it. Okay, yeah, that makes sense because all like every fight other than Butcher and Grull are AOE fights. Yeah. Uh, like crazy. Oh, well, I guess I guess um, the very first one, uh, Cargath Blade Fist is is mostly single target for majority of the raid. Right, but, it, but um, if you're not in the arena group, you're you're not going to top that meter. Yeah, you're not much. likely to top that meter. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe someone like like you got that lucky. That was absurd. Yeah, the two weapons. Heroic weapons. The first night he's in, <laughs> or second night he's in. It's just dumb. And I consider myself pretty lucky, and I didn't get my offhand 680 until, like, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't even get my the weapon I was using up until just recently. I didn't even get the first drop of it because I wasn't there for it. <laughs> oh, right. And then we killed Tectus, like, two to th like four or five more times, and then I finally got my weapon. Yeah, I remember that. Because I, I think I was one of the first people in the raid to have a 680-plus weapon. Because on the first heroic Grull kill, I rolled I rolled my weapon, my, my main hand. Yeah, um, something like that. But I didn't get my offhand until after Windmask had both of his. <laughs> and nuts. OP. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to get a new fucking SimCraft, because apparently there's a new one. I gotta update. Now, now, when I was DPS, I didn't even like this is this is too much for even me. I didn't sim stuff when I was when I was on my warrior, which is funny considering you know the ranks I had. But yeah, you did well. I remember like I had I think I had a few items less than you, but I was um, even when I was Fury, you would outdo me a little bit, and. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I'm i a lot better player now, I think, but um, I was decent then. It's actually well, amazing. That's something we've talked about. Like, I right, say what you're going to say. Uh, so, like, the, the the best I did was the, that I, I think I crested it like 86 on Heroic Ultraxian, right. which for a Fury Warrior, and the fact that, you know, you're standing in front of a boss the mm -hmm. whole time is just nuts. Yeah. Yeah, I remember like I'd be a few percent lower than you on most of the kills, and at the time I blamed it mostly on item level, but I probably could have been better, a better player too. Um, yeah, no, there's there, there there are plenty of things there. I know yeah. that like uh, I had to fudge mechanics, like uh, on Thu's boss, I had to to ignore Kuros if I wanted to do any thing respectable on the meter. Oh yeah, yeah, not including those fights, definitely. I remember one fight I dominated, but I was arms. It was uh, it was the final one. Um, whatever. Uh, madness. Madness. Yeah, madness. Was, a, was a stupidly good fight for arms. That was great. Just dumb. But it's actually it's amazing because like in Miss I felt like, I mean I, I didn't ever think I was like amazing, but like I thought it was pretty good. You know, having played the game for like whatever since vanilla, but yeah. now like, I still feel like I can be a lot better. But like. 
like me and Ruler both, like we've come forward so much um, with understanding things like, you know, rotation stuff and whatnot. Um, yeah. It's amazing how you can keep progressing even after so long. So oh, no, yeah, no, I, it, I, I think it's, it's just, it's just the way things are. Like, definitely towards the end of uh, Siege, I, I was a much better tank than I was at the beginning, of, the or uh, at the, even the beginning of Siege, but the beginning of Mists. Like, right. Um, heroic Galacris, I soloed like twenty percent of Heroic Galacris, and I just missed getting the kill. Because I just didn't have shield wall up again, like, <laughs> wow, I never would have been able to have done that um, on uh, back when we when I started tanking on my warrior. Back in back in Mogulshan vaults. Well, no, I, I actually I tanked quite a few of our heroic kills in Dragon Soul. Oh, you oh. weren't around for that because you had you had oh. taken your break at that point, but probably yeah. I I tanked quite a few of those fights, at least the harder ones. The ones we did on twenty five man, I, I got the DPS, but the uh, the one I was one of the tanks for the ten man group. Okay, yeah, see, I was never in the ten man group. That's one of the reasons I hate ten man. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's too exclusive. Definitely more exclusive. Yeah. yeah, not I'm not a fan of that. I like it a little bit more relaxed from there. Yeah. Now, now at the at the time though, at the time though, that ten man group meant we got best healers, we got our best tanks, we got our best DPS. And for Monkey at the time, that was only like 12 people. So we weren't really missing anyone. Oh, exactly. We only, no, I, right. totally. So that was that was pretty handy. But once we got into 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 Wrath, or into Mists, that became much more prevalent. Yeah. Flex, definitely, by far and away, the best thing they did. And I definitely like the fact that they pulled Mythic out and they made it one raid size. Um, I know that raid size is a little big to some people. Like, they're not overly happy that it's 20 but at the same time i like the fact that i mean it's bigger um which means if you get into it you know you get the more interesting mechanics like the having the mind control having priests to mind control to ads on like instructor resuvius yeah i totally totally agree <clears throat> 20 man is a pretty interesting size where 10 men 10 men isn't interesting um a 10 man feels like a weird five man like some of those fights we had to do in ten men and miss were just like, oh man. No, it's 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 definitely it's definitely weird, and I, I get what you're saying. And the difference is in ten man, one person fucks up, you're probably gonna raid. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> forty mans. Oh my god, forty mans. Forty mans back when like majority of the raid didn't know how to play, including myself. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even know like how to you know listen to anyone explaining mechanics and people have to follow instructions it's it's an absolute gong show um but it was fun it was fun <laughs> for different minutes, reasons back in the day when your feral druids were healing people yes oh yeah <laughs> every every hybrid was just a healer a crappy healer um yeah. well varying degrees of healer the the, the healing specs were were better but <laughs> Yeah. If if you were anything but the healing spec, you were shit. <laughs> it's funny. I did the MC LFR uh, wind mask, and um, <laughs> it it actually reminded me a lot of vanilla MC. People were getting mad at people and trying to explain and things it like in such chat. Such a clusterfuck. Such a clusterfuck. People pulling stuff constantly. That's what right. happened. That is what happened. That that believe it or not, that was legit. 40 man rating right there. It was. It was quite legit. That was that was 40 man as close to 40 man L or 40 man MC you could ever have gotten. Yeah, I'm glad they made it like slightly. I don't know that they made it. Um, like when I went in there, I actually realized that the trash is harder than the bosses, right? But that's right. what it used to be. That that's was what the it case. Used to be. Yeah. Like, you'd spend hours trying to get to the boss, and then you would have two attempts and fail, and then the trash would respawn, and then you got to do it all over again. <laughs> I, I remember what was it was it uh like the the lava surgers had like a 15 minute respawn timer oh man yeah something like that like they were I, I remember that after you killed magmadar it was actually easier to wipe the raid run back in and then wait for a, as everybody was wiping and running back and resetting up 
all of the adds that were tied to Magmadar and Luciferon would despawn, so you wouldn't have to worry about the 15-minute lava searchers anymore. Right. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this in craft. What's you're up? You're clearly doing it wrong. Now, I don't yeah. know how to do it, but you're clearly doing it wrong. Is your result not giving you results? No, it's not. It's giving me an error. Yeah, that's what mine's doing. <clears throat> I think it's just a f like the build is screwed. Fuck. Um, I'm going to try the 32-bit version. That sucks, because I want to know if my two set is even fucking worth it. <laughs> I mean, it will be worth it, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it to downgrade my Mythic Warforged chest to a 680. So I'm kind of annoyed. Oh, the one thing I want to check on logs, I want to check, because I know you guys emphasized when I first came in um, for Operator that you wanted me to single target the the uh, ads, right? Yes. So I wasn't actually sure like how much I should be Bladestorming kind of deal, and uh, I, I ran well... Bladestorm anyways, but... The, the, the issue was there was like the the first few attempts or most of our attempts until we finally got the the first one would go down okay but the second set of them just it would they wouldn't die fast enough right um and i i made the 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 gut call the the executive decision that likelihood what the reason was was people weren't actually focusing the skull they were aoeing off of it okay um, well, I'll tell you something. I'm looking at the meter now on the on the kill. Uh, <laughs> I did the most damage on both the firemenders and the man at arms, and okay. I was still cleaving off of them. That's fine. <laughs> that, no, that, that's fine. But no, what 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 the, the what it, I was worried about was the fact that it felt, and and once we once we got you in, they definitely felt like they were dying faster. And okay. that was only a couple attempts after we said we had to focus the skulls. Um, right. I, I really think it was because before then people were AOEing off of them and they weren't focusing them, throwing out some cleave. I think, based on what I'm looking at here, um, I'm going to say that a lot of people weren't even targeting them. Yeah, that, that's that's possible too. Because I... I just have to pick one. Oh, what Day's saying, actually, well, for Fury, when I AOE, like when I Whirlwind and Raging Blow, like targeting a main target... I do very little main target damage. It's mostly AoE still. And I still did the most damage on them. Day's close. And Regoth is close too. So yeah, I, no, I, I mean, I yeah. get I get that some classes have to pick one. Like, I know I know mm -hmm. Hunters, it's kind of, you're either single target or you're AoE. Um, but I, th I think that's what the issue was, was people were still AoEing at that point, and we needed to single. Yeah. Yeah, I'll openly admit that I was definitely AoEing. Were you targeting them, though? Yes, I was. Okay. Interesting. I, well, actually, there is one thing I, I was doing. I was executing them, which is obviously going to blow the numbers. But yeah. I target them and then execute them. And, I mean, it worked out, but I'm glad. I, I was actually expecting the, the logs to show that I didn't do a lot of damage to the <laughs> ads, but <laughs> apparently I was doing a better job than I thought. Right, and, and I mean, Dave, Dave's got a point there on the, the second set of them. Range has to take care of cannons. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So Day yeah. actually was doing double duty. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure everyone in, in chat here was, was targeting the right target. Um, uh, the unmentionables. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That, that Larchorn guy can't seem to, to tank a skull to save his life. Uh... I wish sim simulation craft would work. Yeah, it's not working for me. Yeah, how do, bleh, do you try 32? Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, so I'm just going to cancel. Pause, pause, pause. Okay. <laughs> um, dang, because I deleted the old one. Fuck. Wah, wah, wah. God dang it. Derp, Good job, derp, man. Good derp, job. Derp. Well, I'm going to have to... Uh, Brash, you should find the old version and then link it to me. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Oh. Ting. That Her record time? That record time. Bam, and it's like instant download. So sexy. 
sexy. Oh, you Canadians, you're actually decent internet. <laughs> Dirty fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> My internet's better, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ruler's got some, some badass internet I want. Are you on a are you on a campus, a college campus? No. He has campus esque internet though. Oh, okay. Okay. I'd I know say. I know that my, my internet when I was at UM was just light years better than it is here, but Yeah. I get I get half off my internet price for being a student. Well that's handy. It is. It's very nice. Because I po. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> po. My my internet bill. My internet bill. I don't have cable. It's just my internet bill. It's fifty-six bucks a month. Ooh, so a little bit more than mine. And uh, what's your speeds? Uh, I want to say I'm like four bit, four megabits download. <laughs> and what's your op? Uh, two to three. Oh, okay, so it's actually quite symmetrical. Is that um ADSL? I I don't I don't know I don't know um cable but I've yeah, it's it's cable. Okay. Interesting. Now, now I am also paying for the bottom tier. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I actually I think Canadian internet is well, aside from rulers, um, <laughs> because he has a student discount, which I you know don't I can't get, I'm not currently a student, but um, uh, like I I pay more like eighty eighty dollars for my internet, which is uh, fifty fifty and five fifty down five up or no. 50 down. 3 up. How's my up? 3 up. That's God, okay. I wish it was 5 up. <laughs> I'm going to make fun of Ruler, though, because he's using WinRAR. What's wrong with what WinRAR? Scrub. WinRAR for the win. I, yeah, I, yeah, I got yeah. him on that train. So much better. What is it? 7-Zip. So much better, and it's free. Okay, 7-Zip, there's a reason. I, I adopted 7-Zip back when, like, because I'm quite a techie guy. Um, but I, like, years ago, I adopted 7-Zip uh, for 64-bit compatibility. And, um... I had some issues with a certain, um, let's say, a very legal download. <laughs> very legal, I swear. And uh, they, uh, they, so I had to revert moved. to that. They, they've since uh, released some codexes that make it better. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure it's fine now, but I, yeah. I'm still on that Winrar train. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate the spam you get for the evaluation mode that you have to sit there and deal with. That is a little bit annoying. Zip. Yeah, that's true. Maybe one day I'll move back over, but I'm using WinRAR until it fills me. It's like Google Chrome and Firefox. Like I was, I hopped on Firefox back in 2005 uh, or something. I, so, so I used I used a very special version of Firefox that I got Hailman? from a couple of from a couple of friends who were actually coding their own at oh. UM. Okay. Um, and I used that forever, and then here recently, I'm just like, I can't do it anymore. I have to use Chrome at work. Yeah. And so I'm just like, I, I can't deal with these little bits of bugs that have happened since they graduated and it's no longer supported yeah. um, by Firefox. So it's like, ah! That's right. why I'm stuck using Chrome now. But for the longest time, I had this very nuanced Firefox that just put every other, you know, explorer to shame. Do you know what no, it was called? What the fuck? Oh, no, I... I, I I don't know. It's just a my head, custom, but... a custom yeah. Firefox. Yeah. yeah, I was running one called Pale Moon for a while, which was good for um, um, SSDs, and yeah, it was okay. And then I something happened with some some website didn't like some plugin with Firefox, and so I swapped to Chrome. <laughs> and I used Chrome for a while, and then it had a bug. That this was years ago when it first came out. So then I swapped back to Firefox. It was great for a couple of years, and now, like a couple of years ago. I swapped to Chrome again, and so I'm, I'm currently on Chrome. <laughs> oh, weird. The download you gave me, uh, Brash, was the new yeah. one, and I wanted the <laughs> old one. <laughs> Serious? Yeah. Way to fail, Brash. One job. You have one job. <laughs> no, no, look, look, look. Look Look at the download link. 61002. No, I it's... know, and I clicked it. Yeah. I click it. The new version is 04. <laughs> no, I know, but what the fuck? Okay, wait, one sec. Am I'm I gonna laugh if he actually re uh, extracted the new version, thinking it was the old one. <laughs> I probably did, but like I'm really. Okay. Yeah, maybe I... their download stuff could be weird. I don't know. Okay, wait. Show in folder. Okay, okay. Extract files. <laughs> okay, I think we're good now. 
Are you sure? <laughs> you know how to computer their ruler? Hey, I'm pretty techy, <laughs> but I'm kind of derp. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what happened, but something wrong happened. I actually, I actually helped ruler build a computer, but like he literally built most of it himself. Uh, oh, man. Without me around. So, uh, oh, he, man. It's pretty good. So he got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, what the, f what the f There he goes, breaking it again. No, I'm like, where where am I extracting it to? <laughs> um... Just drag it out. Open it up and then drag it out somewhere. Somewhere new. Yeah, no shit, because what am I doing? <laughs> breaking it, apparently. Dude, I'm like, it's hella derp right now. Okay. Da -da. So everyone can see it's right there. So, so I want to know, what's your guys' opinion on a... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I've got what Day's got. That's exactly what I have. Yeah, that, that's that's about $75. 25, 25 and 2.5 is $75 in Canada. Because we have no competition. Like, we have basically... Where I am, I have shop, and that's it. Like, I have no other like options. Yeah, no, we're the, we're the same way here. Okay. I am kind of in the boonies, technically, but very, very small town on a fairly small island in <laughs> <laughs> Western Canada. <laughs> oh, someone had a question? What's your guys' opinion on Orgorger? Because apparently oh, everybody else doesn't want to do it. I... Interesting. Um, Orgorger Heroic. Um, I think it's not that hard of a fight, um, as long as we don't die to things, you know, as long as everyone's alive for, like, two or so phases of, of dodging. Yeah, no, um, like, I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't understand why everybody's avoiding it, wants to avoid it like the plague. Yeah, I don't, make any sense to me. I don't have any issues with it at all. Oh. I mean, it did take us quite a few attempts to get normal, but I think we've learnt the hard part. Uh, as a as a as a raid a guild like we understand yeah. to how to dodge a little bit like at least the majority of us do better yeah yeah i want to do furnace uh i even the normal it just seems like a fun fight because of all the aoe all the aoe all the time and the truth comes out oh is this surprising i like the aoe <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I like the single target. Um, what sort of Dre? What sort of fights do I dislike? Because I don't even know. Uh. I hate simple fights. Yeah, you hate when you can't like. You don't you... like patchworks. I don't mind patchworks because they're they're normally tuned so tight that like I feel intense about having okay. to like to do my rotation. That's fair. But some fights like um you... like actually like Chromog. Um, oh, I really yeah. dis I dislike the single target on Chromog. I like the AoE part, but the single target is just like I'm standing there and like dodging these sparks, and it doesn't even mean anything really, because um, like I'm not even running my single target talents. I don't know. I, I guess I like a tightly tuned fight, but not to the point where monkeys are like, you know, taking months to kill it. That's fair. That's fair. Oh my god! Please do that, Brash. <laughs> oh my god. I'll do. I want. I want to do that screenshot where like I have the uh, my my UI, but like I, I'll post it on the forum or something or the, the Facebook page. I'll be like, oh, I redid my UI, guys, and uh, just have this all my <laughs> buttons be Bladestorm, <laughs> Bladestorm, and maybe an execute. There's like one execute right in the middle. <laughs> uh, Bladestorm's crazy. This X pack, like it's totally just like the thing. Um. Hmm. That's I don't really know why. I guess it's, it has to do with how the fights are made. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, if they're not just constant ads, they're they're timed ads. Yeah, and like it kind of excels in both of those regards. Right. And it's not it's not small numbers of them. You know, we don't have one ad ad fights. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, what the fuck? Your oh, video dead. is like dead. Dead? How is it Your dead? Stream? Oh, it's all black. I don't know. Is oh. it? Because he's still running on mine. Oh, Am okay. I just behind? It's probably on my end because my internet is flaky. Um. I know that I can't watch his stream and 
play WoW at the same time without his borking, his stream borking every once in a while. But every once in a while, sometimes it feels like every two, three minutes. And I, I think I went like what two attempts tonight where I I didn't lose it. Mm-hmm. Two whole attempts. Okay. I'll okay, so this is interesting. So SimCraft uh, takes into account the uh, the set bonus, correct? It should, yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, it kind of makes sense because I am dropping a huge item level from my chest, but it's only showing with my two set um, a 500 DPS increase, or se uh, 700. So I guess that's still... Sounds like to me like it comes out in the wash and you should switch. Wait, wait, wait. You, you gain 700 DPS using your two-piece? Mm-hmm. That's more than I gained. I also, like, my shoulders were also an upgrade. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I need to sim myself. 700 DPS, that's more than your weapon upgrade. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I'm thinking I, I wanted to also see if I just put on the shoulders with my chest, uh, no two-piece, yes. and see if that's an upgrade. Uh, yeah, do you, you want to do you want to just no. log in on yours? <laughs> uh, what? Do you want to log into my tune on yours? I don't want the stream to break. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna need. Oh, I guess I do have your authenticator. Um, yeah, you do. I can try. So just so if I get hacked, it was brash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need your gold. <laughs> no, I <laughs> know you don't. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can do this. Okay. What? What is it, AJ.base? Yeah. And your password is? Let's just... Let's just it's it's your password. <laughs> yes. It's my second... It. Oh. It's my no, second... Okay. It's, it's, an, it's my second password. Night, Night Arculus. Night Arculus. Night Arculus. Thanks for joining. Really appreciate it. Uh, Where's my fucking... I'm going to have to go to bed here soon, too. It's, it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning here. That's yeah, fine. We can we could, we could probably wrap up this after um, I check this I'm, out. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm having fun. It's a good time. I could just make some, exp uh, you know, fudge the numbers and be like, well, I was I had to dig myself out still. So, <laughs> Large, tell us a story. Like, okay, tell us a story. Hmm. Like, how about this? Your first, your first raid or something? My first raid. I was level fifty-five. Okay. Whoa, um, what? That's awesome. So, so you could zone into Molten Core at level 55 um, if yes. you were attuned. Right. And uh, um, back on in, back in vanilla there was, on Dragonblight there was this uh, group of guilds called uh, Horde Guilds United. Um, they had their own kind of channel. It was Zulrog um I forget what guild Cherry Ugly was in. Evil Empire. And then a, a couple of others. And it was smaller guilds, but basically the uh, the, the guild masters knew each other. Um, and so they decided that they'd go this go together like this. Um, and, and they'd raid. And they were only going to have 38 people. Um, okay. And... I had gotten myself attuned because it was one of the quests for uh, Black Rock Depths. Um, I was attuned, and I was 55, and they brought me because, you know, they didn't have 40 people. Interesting. Makes sense. Um, yeah, we did that. Um, no, I think... <clears throat> I don't know how long you were in that alliance, because I was in... I think I was in the... Um, that alliance basically merged with um, the one I was in, which was HSGA, and I think it kept the HSGA name because I was raiding with Cherry Ugly um, at some point in, well, in Molten I, Core. I I know that uh, I had I had some life stuff that I had to take care of, mostly because I was thirteen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, the guild I was in, Zulrog, the raid leader or the guild master, and his wife had a falling out with Cherry. Okay. Um, 
I, I I don't know. It was I know I was there and then I I I wasn't. It it, it, it was it was weird. We might have we might have raided together a couple of times. Maybe. I know like like uh, Joel Joel's druid, and I were in the same guild for a period of time, and then in Burning Crusade, they became an actual raiding guild, and I was one of the people that. Uh, I left. Joel says he kicked me. They kicked me, but I left because <laughs> I uh, I jumped over to the guild that uh, my brother was in. Right. Okay. Yeah, because I remember Joel. Um, like I don't know if I raided with him, but I definitely remember him on his uh, druid PSI. Back, yeah. On like, Psy. Yeah, it was either in. I feel like it was in vanilla, but I think it's more likely to be Burning Crusade for some reason. Um, that's possible. That's that's, that's definitely possible. Um, but like Polalu, I, re I remember doing a couple of raids with Polalu. Oh um, man, what is that name? He's is that a warrior. He was a, he was a warrior. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the other main tank for the the guild that Joel was ended up in in Burning Crusade. Right. Omen, I think. Omen, yeah. Um, so that's so that's interesting. Um, it looks like the two set. Even dropping my mythic warforge chest is still an up better upgrade. How much? Uh, from what I the 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 warforge chest and the shoulder upgrade to uh, two piece is four hundred DPS. Mm, that's more than we first calculated. Yep, it's double um, because <laughs> mine only hey. showed like two or three hundred. Hey's uh, hey's comments in chat make me giggle. I, I remember uh, 15 man Strath homes. Um, I remember oh, yeah. being pissed about the fact that uh, Lower Blackrock was a, a something that normally 10 people did, and in order to get tuned for Anixia, Horde had to do it as a 5 man. Oh, wow. I did all that stuff. I just, it's, it's kind of blurry. I do remember doing 10 man, um, like, I guess it was Strat. Right, yeah, was no, it, no, it I, wasn't Skolo, it was Strat, yeah. I did I did Skolo, I did Strat, I did Upper, and I did Lower. Yeah. Um, and then I did a couple of ZG runs. And you had, you had the Druid back then, right? Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, I was playing my playing my Druid. Yeah, I was a hunter, so on my first Ubers, on uh, on my first, you know, clear of Ubers, I... Um, <laughs> you had to kite uh, I had general? To f yes, I had to freaking kite. Someone whispered me, because obviously there's no voice chat, and... Right. Uh, they like basically told me like you know you do this basically like two things like you know put on aspect or whatever and use arcane shot and like run them away or whatever it was and uh i i think i nailed it like first try and i was like pretty stoked um, back in the day zanzil you could run um i want to say lower the black rock spire was 20 people was the amount of people you could get in on the raid oh yeah you could fit a lot um but uh, That's what she said. You, you could you could do it as five because you had to for the uh, the horde, Anixia, um, attunement quest line. Drathome was was always ten fifteen people. I think it was, sometimes you took twenty. I think the idea was that basically the dungeons were able like they unlocked them or like whatever they initially had them enabled you could raid them, and then they realized like later on that they wanted to lock it down to five so it was i remember they patched that in at some point in vanilla where you, you could only yeah. do them five man well um well, ubers I, was still 10 though right ubers was still 10 the, the spires were still 10 um right i know i know it was about the time they added the upgrade the the, the, the half tier so the the dungeon point five tier oh yeah that up quest that up, uh, updated quest line because you had to do um Strath home, you had to do it in forty. You had to do undead strat in forty-five minutes in a five-man group. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. As one of the the the, the culminating quests for it. I remember. I never got to do that. I don't think. <laughs> I did. I got. I got three of the pieces. I got the the gloves, the belt, and the boots. I didn't um, have the gold. I think because you needed some sort of gold involved, and yeah, I was like still saving something. up for a mount. Yeah, you had to buy something. Oh, also, I had the full. I had tier one molten core gear so i didn't really need that stuff yeah more where i wasn't i wasn't so lucky when it came to that yeah well and that's like another thing that happened i mean it's weird because like um 
um, well, like, okay, I, when I did Molten Core, the first, one of the first raids, I, uh, they got me to be the puller, right? I don't know if you remember there being pullers. <laughs> yeah, no, like, you had, you had, you had dedicated hunters for the tanks. I remember, I remember, uh, you had to, to pull all the core hound groups like that in yeah. order to make sure that they were the same kind of, same kind of relative health. And I remember, like, we, we tried to rotate hunters, and, like, you know, I, I was pretty good at it, I guess, at, you know, by the time we, uh, killed some bosses or whatever, but, like, we tried to rotate some other hunters in just so we could have other people doing it, and they just couldn't do it. Like, they, I don't know why. I wasn't even, like, hotkeyed or anything. I was just a clicker, and I was able to do it, and, uh... I was, yeah, that, back, back in the day, I was a clicker. I was, I was actually a clicker until my, until my warrior in, uh, in, uh, Cataclysm. Well... You know, that's funny, because I, yeah, I was a clicker, and then in Burning Crusade, I swapped to the warrior, because I got sick of the hunter stuff, and I noticed that you had to click Heroic Strike quicker than the Global Cooldown, so I'm like, shit, I need to hotkey this, so I can click it at the same time, and that led into, you know, full-fledged hotkeys. Yeah. And melee, in general, just needs to be able to move, so you have to, you have to hotkey. Right, and, and now, now when I'm tanking, I do this kind of, like, half and half. Yeah. Some I've buttons seen it. <laughs> are some buttons are, are clicked, some buttons are are, are uh are hot keyed. And that's just because I'm I, I, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, At this no, point that's... it's muscle memory and I, I don't want to change it. You know, that's so funny because like I talked to Ruler about this, like because when he started he just asked me like or I didn't no, I just told him to like use this UI and like use hotkeys period. <laughs> he had no choice. <laughs> And but <laughs> people in vanilla though, like most of us click, so um, yeah. no, it, it was... it's quite a transition to learn to hotkey. And I don't think that I ever. Said, uh -huh. I was never a keyboard turner. Right. Yeah. Me either. Really. I, I always. I've always turned with my mouse. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of like. I remember you could click your buttons and stuff, and then if you wanted to move, you just you right clicked and you moved around. Like you kind of right. did you one just... or the other. You just moved it up that just little bit and then and, and then moved. Yeah. Moved it off the action bars and moved. Um Brash, uh what uh what are your talents that you changed for single target? You currently have like Dragon War Roar and Bladestorm and Anger Management. It changed the numbers on the thing? Yeah. Should be uh what the fuck? Use. I think it's one zero one zero two two zero. Okay. One zero one zero two two zero. I'm I'm glad that we've all can come together and admitted that we were all originally clickers, all members of Clickers Anonymous. <laughs> well, this is actually one of the videos I want to make um, on my YouTube channel. Basically, I want to make a hotkey guide for people that learnt how I learnt, you know, by clicking. Because the way I hotkey is, it kind of still uses elements of clicking, but it doesn't, it, there's no clicking involved at all. But it has, well, the thing is, okay, if when you're clicking, you look at your spells and you watch your cooldowns, right? And that's how you figure out where you are in your rotation, right? Right. And a lot of the hotkey guides don't really cover that aspect. So I want to make one that kind of does my thing, because I have it, like, tuned in a way where I can understand it as like you know learning the way i learned but still have the benefits of hotkeying completely yeah no that's fair that's fair i uh, i also know that you don't want to branch out more than like five like i use i use one through five and then f g and v and then a shift modifier right so i only i only and then i my fingers normally only sit at two three and four but my most used abilities that's where they're at yeah uh, V V is my interrupt on every tune I play. Whoa, well, I think that's the same as me. Wait, I gotta find out. And then <laughs> that's fucked up. And then G is my taunt if uh, if I have need for it. I keep on G to my taunt. Yeah, and then, I use uh, B is always my oh shit button. Like my uh, cool my mage, it's my ice block, it's deterrence on my hunter, field wall right. on my warrior. Interesting. Because mine are all like all kind of like my interrupt and taunt are both on the two mouse buttons on the side on a regular mouse, and then 
everything my like all my heals and mitigation and stuff are all like from uh like it's like c v and f and and mind you, I'm using a gamepad, so the layout's quite different but um basically the bottom row is where I'm using my oh shit stuff to save that's, me yeah that's that's fair uh day says he uses the 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 control i I don't like how my finger I have to like change how my hand sits on my keyboard to hit control so yeah I only use shift I can't use control I use I use I use control uh, when I was healing um, but then again you were all, I was only ever using control and sh control and shift and it was all mouse buttons and I'm kind of weird heal bot. I use my alt button is rebound to push to talk <laughs> I use so... the tilt key that... it's just it's just right there. Yeah. I have that as my mount. I don't know why, but it's always <laughs> you, been there. You keybind your mount. Dude, it's like probably one of the first keybinds I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Um, so we are coming up onto two hours. Holy uh, crap. So... Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's getting pretty late. I'm going to have to call it a night here pretty soon. Yeah, so I just wanted to... Uh, I thought it would be a good time to just kind of finish this up and um like i said uh earlier that we're gonna try and make this regularly on thursday evenings after raid and uh again check out our youtube channels and all that good stuff i really i want to give a really really big thank you to large for being with us tonight no problem uh hope to have you again shortly I'll be here when you need me Sounds good. I want to thank Brash for coming along for the ride, even though he was only part of the raid for like an like an hour. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't bring very much. <laughs> he, he was. We got to kill with him, though. I guess that, I, that's I true. Uh, you guys just waited for me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, um, and I want to thank everybody so much for coming in and watching. You guys really make this pod what it is, and uh, we appreciate it so much. Like. I know it sounds kind of cheesy, but it's really true. If it wasn't for you guys coming in, uh, we literally have nothing. It would just be us talking to ourselves. So, <laughs> so well, honestly, we would have probably not kept doing the podcast if we didn't have people coming in chat. Like, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I, I, I think I would agree with that statement. So, again, thank you guys so much for coming out and watching us. And uh, we will be back on Thursday. And hopefully we can get, uh, I think, Sevti uh, said oh, she man. could come in. So oh, uh, that should be good because she is a grill. So we got a grill coming in, she and is, she is a trip. And a top end, top end healer apparently has been healing really well for a long time. So oh, Septi is a beast. Like yeah. she, she is a healing beast. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, thank you again so much for watching. And uh, y'all have a good night. And uh, Melee Monkeys out. That's going to be my catchphrase from now on. Okay. <laughs> Stopping the stream.